Hey guys, how's it going? Gerald Harris once again. Got Ted Thomas here, the tax lien and tax deed expert. I have another set of questions for you, Ted. So, Ted, can you review for my students what a tax lien certificate is? Sure. I'm happy to do that. Okay, folks, in half of the states in the United States, what they do, if the people don't pay their tax, they send a notice to them and say, look, you didn't pay your tax, and it needs to be paid by a certain day. All right, if you haven't paid for that, they send you another notice. So they send you numerous notices. Then if you don't pay your tax, they're not going to throw you out of the house. What they're going to do is they're going to send you a notice that said, look, we're going to sell your taxes to someone that will pay. And so they make a big list, and I'll show you these lists later on. Matter of fact, I'm going to see if I can get a big list right now. I just stay right there, and I'm just going to go off camera over here to my desk. Okay, I'm going over here to the desk, and I'm going to get a list out. Okay, so I'm going to get a list of Tampa, Florida. Okay, now you know that's a big city, right? All right, in Tampa, Florida, they put all the tax liens in on this list. This is a regular newspaper. It's just a regular newspaper. There's 40,000 certificates on this list. 40,000. All right. So they put you on that list. Now, anybody in the world that has money can come in and pay your tax or pay the tax. Anybody can come in. And when I buy that certificate, what I do is I buy the certificate from the county. So when you buy one from the county in Florida, this is Tampa, Florida. In Florida, you could earn up to 18% on that certificate. Okay, and I'll actually show you examples of people doing this in a, on one of the other videos. I promise I'll show you that. All right, so I buy the certificate. Now, the people stay in the house. They haven't thrown them out. They give them plenty of time, like they might have been sick. They might have lost a job. They might have had COVID. Uh, maybe their family had an accident, whatever. When they get back to work, they got to pay the tax. But if they don't pay, it could, a certificate could stay outstanding for as much as two years. So it stays outstanding. You could be earning 18% on that certificate during those two years. All right, now, what happens if the people never come in? And that's what you're worried about. You're worried, oh, I don't want to lose my assets. I don't want to lose my assets. Okay, I get it. You don't want to lose your assets. So what you do is you own the certificate. They, they give you a piece of paper. It's about this size. You take it home. You put it on your desk. Then you just sit on your rusty dusty. You don't do anything. Just sit there and say, doo -doo 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 -doo. what am I waiting for? You're waiting for the time to go by. At the end of two years in Florida, if they haven't paid, guess what? If you have bought a tax certificate and they don't pay you, you're going to get the property without a mortgage, without a mortgage, because the treasurer will cancel the mortgage. The treasurer cancels the mortgage. They wipe it out. So now you paid someone's taxes. Okay. You wait your time. If you don't get paid, you get the property. That's the rule in every county in the United States. I didn't make the rules. I'm just telling you how to use it. Now, I'm oversimplifying because it's a video and I want you to understand it. Now, there are going to be some little quirks and some little details. Yeah, but I mean, that's why I have classes to teach you that. But the basics are with a tax certificate, if you don't get paid, you get the property. How good is that? And when you get the property, no mortgage. Folks, where are you going to get a property for no mortgage? Think about what you paid for a tax certificate. You pay about 2 or 3%. Now, if you bought one in New Jersey, it'd be a little higher because the tax is low. But taxes generally are 1 or 2% except in New York, New Jersey, Maryland, those are high tax states, but you're only gonna pay three or 4% of value. And when you do that, you now have a safe, secure investment. Now, hold on, let me say one more thing. Tax certificates are the safest investment in America today. Now, why can I say that? And here's why I can say that. And you can't buy them from me, I don't get paid. Okay, I'm an educator, I just teach people how to do it. When you buy a tax certificate, you can't invest with me. You're going to invest directly with the county. Let me say it again. You can't invest with me. You invest with the county. All right. When they invest in the county, they're going to give you a certificate. Okay. You'll either get paid, whatever the interest rate on the certificate is, or you'll get the property. Now, why wouldn't you buy tax certificate? Okay. You're either going to get paid or you're going to get the property. What more can I do for you? I, 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 you want to go and do the work for you? I'll do that too. All right. What you got to do is you got to invest in tax and certificates because it's the safest investment in America today. I didn't make this up. I've been doing it for 30 years. Wow. Wow. Thank you for that. You know, so I think I understand tax lien certificates. Most clients never heard of tax lien certificates. Are they available in each and every state? Tax lien certificates are only available in half of the states. And most people don't know about it. Now, it's not your fault that you don't know about it. The, see, the county only advertises those certificates. I'm going to go over here and get another newspaper. To show. They only advertise those certificates in whatever county they're in. So I'll just reach over and get another one. So this is um, this one here is what county is it? All right, so 
This is Broward County. This is Fort Lauderdale. Okay, this is a list of tax certificates. There's no pictures in this newspaper. There's 30,000 certificates just in Broward County. That's Fort Lauderdale. 30,000. All right, so every county sells tax lien certificates. Okay, but only half of the states do. So you have to look that up. So you see the map that, uh, that uh, Gerald has behind him? We got a map and it'll show you every state that does that. We just pop it on, exactly. Just pop that on and you'll know all the states. That you, can, you can sit on your rusty dusty. You can sit in Maryland, you can sit in Florida, you can sit in New York and buy in Arizona if you want. Because now they're gonna do it online. When I started, we have to drive out to the county 30 years ago, get the list. They don't do that anymore, you can do it online. So you can do this work online I have clients and I've, uh, I'm gonna do a, a one day all day event. I'll show you clients. They'll come on the, my one day event. They'll come on there and they'll show you how they make 10, 10%, 12%, 16%, 18% on tax data. Now I'll give you different numbers because they buy them in different places. All right, you get the idea. Now when you go to an auction, it's not automatic you get 18%. Another guy might say, I'll do 17. So it goes to the lowest bidder on a tax certificate. Tam, I've had, in the past, I've had three or four real estate brokers. Why, why haven't any of my brokers told me about this? Oh, you know, that's the problem. I feel bad about that. All right, folks, here's the challenge with tax certificates or any of these government things, okay? So this county, this was Fort Lauderdale. This county only lets people in their county know about it. So if you didn't, if you weren't one of my clients, you would know that there was 30,000 certificates there. Okay, we, have, we track every single county in the United States. This, there's 3,000, we track every one of them. All right, so the brokers mean well, but here's the challenge with the broker. It could be you. Don't think the brokers are bad guys. Don't think the attorneys are the bad guys. They're not. Here's the problem. The tax business is set up so they don't pay any commissions. Now, how's a broker gonna make the money if he doesn't get a commission? So a broker is gonna try to sell you a house a rehab or something. That's what a broker. What was an attorney going to do? Well, you got to come to my office at five hundred dollars an hour, or whatever. If you if you want to pay, they'll teach you that. Okay, they can go to the statute books, look it up, and teach you that. But my point is, none of those people that do it doesn't matter whether it's brokers, bankers. The bankers sure know about it. Why did the bank know about it? Because a tax lien is always the first lien. When you buy a tax certificate, you now have the first lien. You can wipe out the bank. Folks, I've done it. You can wipe out the bank, just knock it. And the county does that for you. When you buy a tax lien, people don't pay it. They knock the mortgage right off because you bought the first lien. First lien is first lien. That's right. Now, people are going to tell you that the mortgage is the first lien. I'm here to tell you, go to the title company. They'll tell you who it is. Go to the county. It's always the tax lien. So when you buy tax lien certificates, you're buying the safest investment in America today. You either get paid or you get the property. Wow. Wow. So most of my investors, they they live here in the United States. Right. If people live outside of the U.S., can they still invest in U.S. tax liens? And a a Absolutely. The class that we're doing now, I teach it in Sydney and Melbourne, Australia. I teach it in Singapore, out in the middle of the Pacific. I teach it in Bangkok, Thailand. I teach it in all, almost all the provinces of Canada. We teach it. All you have to have is an American bank account. Because you see, everything's done in English. And so you have to have an American account. So we don't have multiple languages in our country. We have one, one language and that's English. So all the county people know to do, be able to talk to you is English. So you have to have, everything's done in dollars. So you'd have to convert before. But we teach you how to convert. We have classes on how to convert. So, okay. So what should I buy? Should I buy tax liens? Or should I buy tax defaulted properties? Which should you buy? Okay. Yeah. So let's say you're a conservative guy and you don't want you don't want to do any work at all. You just want to you just want to you just want to deal in paper. So then you go and you look at the list, then you evaluate the property and you buy tax liens. Now remember what I said on tape number one: when you buy tax liens to do it, you can't buy it from Ted. You're going to give your money directly to the county. Okay. And the county's going to hold the money. I can tell you right now, 98% of all those tax liens are going to pay you. So you're going to get your money back. So you get whatever you invest money back. So that's a very conservative, it's a very conservative investment. Now, if you want to make big bucks, okay, now this is where we teach people to make 25, 50 and hundred thousand dollars on a deal. Now, how do they do that? Well, there's going to be the same kind of lists again. So let me get a, let me get another list here and I'll show you. 
every county has has a list, okay? So this is just a county list from Franklin County, New York, and all the properties that they're going to sell are listed there. I just downloaded this off the internet. All right, now that those properties are going to be sold for the back taxes. So let's say the house was worth a hundred thousand and it had ten thousand in taxes. The starting bid is ten thousand, and there's no mortgage. Ten thousand. All right, now what if you could buy it for twenty thousand? So if you bought it for twenty. All the margin between 20 and 100,000 is yours. So that's a big chunk of money. And now we teach people to do that. Sometimes we teach them to buy, you know, maybe a 50 or $75,000 house for eight or 10 grand. And when they do that, then all that upside belongs to them. Now I'm going to show you an example of someone making big money on a tax certificate. And he's doing it from outside the country. All right. Now this guy's name is Kelly. And again, be patient with me so I can show you this. I taught him to buy residential lots to start with, and I'm gonna show you an example of that, okay? Then after that, he moved to, to buying uh, um, five acre lots with barns on them and houses and all that, and he made over $100,000 on his second deal. Now I'm gonna show you a video on that. So pay attention to the video, it only take about two minutes, and then I'll discuss it when you come out. My name is Kelly Osmack, and I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan. I'm a Ted Thomas student. I had purchased a, a lot in Riverside County, at Riverside. Uh, I purchased it for 35000 and uh, after I got my title, I listed it. It was listed for a month, and I got a full cash offer of $55,000 U.S. After that deal, I went to the uh, Kitsap County in Washington and purchased a five-acre parcel um, in uh, Kingston, and I paid 131000 for that property. Uh, it's, it was a, had a 1,300 square foot uh, manufactured home and a barn on the property. Really nice property. I had it listed at 280, and I received the full price offer in four days. All right, now you guys just saw that, right? So you said that's a real guy talking about making a hundred over a hundred thousand dollars on one property. So what should you do? Tax liens or tax deed? Well, tax lien certificates are very very conservative investment. All right, so you're not going to worry about that. So it might be a good place to learn. Tax defaulted property, this is big money. This is big money. Now, is every deal 100000 No, but there's lots of 25s and 50s. I call those base hits. 25, 35, 45. That's our bread and butter business. That's the one you want to be in. You will find those in your community. And if you don't find them in your community, not to worry. We'll show you how to do it online so you can look at all 3,000 counties in the United States. We can do all that while you sit on your rusty dusty looking at me on the computer. How about that? So I know we talked online. You mentioned online multiple times. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to go ahead and go to a local auction. How many people show up? Maybe 100, maybe 20? How many people oh. have shown up at the public auction? Well, I have every kind of example. Okay, so uh, sometimes, uh, like I live here in Florida. So mm -hmm. last year, I, I bought a handful of properties in New York. I bought nine properties in New York. So I start, started online and I investigated them online. Then I jumped on the jet and I went up and I looked at them all because I don't want to, uh, uh, you know, it's like a woman. You, you don't want to marry her unless you look at her, right? So, so I went and take a look. And uh, so they, some of them weren't very good. So I didn't bid on those. But the other ones I did bid on. And when I bid, sometimes at the auction, there'll be 50 people. Uh, if I show you Los Angeles, which you'll, go, you'll be in shock. Los Angeles will have 2,000 people at the auction and they'll have 2,000 properties. So it's a big room, but I can tell you right now, after 30 years of doing it, 80% of the people in the room are just standing there and saying, they're just shocked because <laughs> they don't have any money and they don't plan. We don't have anybody in our group that goes to the auction without a plan. We know what we're going to pay. We write it on our sleeve. We don't go above it. People outbid us. It doesn't matter. Uh, the whole trick in buying at auctions is the planning ahead of time. And people don't do that. What they do is they never get a list of the properties. They never go look at the property. You don't ever want to buy a tax property without going at least get your boots on the ground. Now, if you don't use your boots, we teach you to get sense on. Because what if you bought it today and yet while that's just going on, there was a hurricane or a fire, or what if it was next to a chicken farm? You don't want to be next to the chicken barn. That could be kind of smelly. So the point is we teach you to go look at all that stuff. <laughs> Yeah. That is funny. That is funny. So, question 
which is better to go to a big city like Miami or to focus something, maybe something a little different, like uh, let's say like Arizona, which would be better? Oh, I would say, I would say uh, hands down that you want to go to the, the least competitive market. For example, um, if you take a place like uh, um, Florida, they got 67 counties in the, in the state and 40% of Florida lives between West Palm Beach and Miami. So 40% of the state's living in. So that's going to be competitive because, you know, I've been in this business for a long time. I would say go to the middle part of Florida to buy, or let's go in Georgia. Now, I'll introduce you a guy in a minute that he buys in Georgia. Now, he's from Macon, Georgia. Now, listen to this. Macon, Georgia is down in the middle, southeast part of the southwest part of the state. And get this. This guy has done over 100 deals just in the state of Georgia. Just in Georgia. Over a hundred deals. Yeah. What? It's a, it's a big deal. So I was in a Georgia, as you know, with the exception of Atlanta, it's a rural state. It's a, it's really a farm state. Yeah. yeah. All right. So rural counties are really good. Now there's auctions is only 10 to 20 people show up because you see that the county does not advertise outside the county. So if the county people don't show up, you're going to be an outlier. You're going to be there because you know that there's deals to be made there. So, People go and people go to those auctions. So the big auctions, big cities, there's going to be some some activity. For, for example, they'll have three thousand properties and only a hundred people show up. Wow, I've got it on video. I'll show it to you. Unbelievable, folks. Let me explain this. You'll never have to work another day in your life. The the insecurity is gone if you just follow in this man's footsteps. Now we're going to talk about Los Angeles, California, where the starting bid is the back taxes, and they had over 3,000 properties. And that's the auction book that I mentioned earlier. Here's what happened. My name is Renee Gauthier from Surrey, BC. In October, I went to Los Angeles County tax deed sale, bought five properties for roughly $85,000. They are vacant lots. One is in Malibu, four in downtown LA. Gorgeous properties. Their value? Tax assessed value is just over $1 million. I did this after taking Ted's course in under 90 days. Thanks, Ted. Just imagine Los Angeles, California, a million dollars worth of properties, and he only spent $85,000. That's eight and a half cents on the dollar. Folks, this is in your best interest. Once you learn this, you can do it for the rest of your life. But you know what you're thinking? I know what you're thinking. You're saying, how would I ever sell those properties? Well, use my Walmart strategy. What is that? It's buy low and sell low. So we had a million dollars worth of properties. Let's give an 80% discount and see what we have left. Well, we still have 200,000 left and he only spent $85,000. Look at the property made just one deal, one auction in Los Angeles, California. How about that? Wow. Unbelievable. I like, I like those numbers. What's the maximum number of tax lien certificates available at one time? Maximum number? Yeah. Um, you, you could go to um, Chicago, Cook County. And in Cook County, the average auction will have 100,000 tax lien certificates. Before the computer, now that was when I had black hair and I was skinny. Okay, I go to the auction, and what they did is, you know what a three by five, three by five card, a little white card like that that people write it on? The auctioneer would get up and read the card, the property note, and the people would bid. It took 35 days to sell all those certificates. 35 days. Wow. Now they do the whole thing online, so you can just pick the ones you want. You can go look at it. Remember, you're picking, you're not just picking from the list. The list is a property number, right? You can go look at the property. And you can do it. We can show you how to look at the property online just as well. Okay. Wow. Okay. I heard you say the minimum payment in Georgia in terms of return is 20%. Is that true? <laughs> no one believes Georgia. Georgia is my favorite state. Why do I like Georgia? Because here's how it works in Georgia. If a property goes into default, they sell what's called a redeemable deed. So they're going to sell a redeemable deed. Anybody can buy it. All right, when you buy that certificate, watch my hands now. You bought it on this day. This is day one. Okay, that starts a clock like on 60 minutes. Go tick, 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 tick. 
all the way out to the end of the year. So any day that the person comes in to pay the tax, it's not an interest rate, it's a penalty. So if you bought it today and they come in and redeem it, in other words, they want their property back, all right, if they come in and redeem it, well, you're gonna pay, get paid 20%, even in 10 days. You're gonna get 20% all the way through to the 365th day. So I tell my clients, on the 365th day, you can foreclose, you can take the property. But I say, if you're my client, don't take the property, just let the certificate go into the 366th day and you no longer get 20%, now you get 30%. And the year after that, you get 40%. And the year after that, you get 50%. Now look, I don't make the rules. I have just been doing this for a long time and I can tell you what the rules are. So you can make up to 50% and never own a property. I don't make the rules. It's the way it is. Percent, the ROI on something like that is enormous. Fifty percent. Oh my goodness! And remember, the check doesn't come from Ted. It comes from the government. You remember, I talked about the government. The government's going to make sure you get paid. I love it. I love it. So Ted, why yeah. anybody buy tax lien certificates when they can buy tax deeds? Oh, listen, uh, more people want tax liens than tax deeds. You see, you're an entrepreneur. See, entrepreneurs, they know how to minimize risk. Now, how do you minimize risk? First of all, don't buy any junk. You don't want to buy any junkers. So you minimize risk by what you pay. So if it's a $100,000 house, you're not going to pay $90,000. you are going to say, I'm going to bid up to 20 or 30%, so I got margin. All right, so that's, that's, a, that's a tax deed investor. Tax lien investor, they just want to say, all right, I want to make 15% of my money, or I want to make 12% of my money. So they invest in a tax lien. 98% of all tax liens will pay off in the first two years. Most of them pay off. Most people with tax liens, they rarely use their property. One or two, one or two percent lose the property, not very many. One or two percent, that's all. Ted, once again, appreciate you. Guys, go ahead. Look out for the next email. Look out for the next video. Remember, November 6th. 11 a.m. Eastern. Ted is going to be doing his thing, okay? See you soon, Ted. Okay, good to see you. See you soon.